Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Eva. As always, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. So for today's topic, we're going to be comparing two exciting AI-powered art platforms, Diffusion Art and Playground AI. Both are impressive in their own right, harnessing the potential of AI and creating stunning visuals. So grab a cup of coffee or tea and let's start exploring these platforms. Okay, so let's start with Diffusion Art. So Diffusion Art is a curated library of open source AI art models with a focus on art and anime image creation. It offers a range of models trained in different styles, allowing users to run the same prompt across multiple models simultaneously. However, the user interface is somewhat confusing and glitchy, and it may be slow in generating prompts and images. So as you can see, it's kind of taking a while, you know, it's taking its time. <laughs> and also the images created through Diffusion Art are only available to the user and not allowed for commercial use, which might be a downside for some, uh, but overall it's still good, not the best, it's free, so why not use it? But Playground AI, on the other hand, generates high quality photorealistic images from text prompts and it's designed for various creative purposes. The platform's user interface is more straightforward. It is pretty simple to use, I guess. It just looks nicer overall compared to Diffusion Art. Images created through Playground AI can be made private, but they're also available for commercial and public use. In terms of pricing, Diffusion Art is free to use while Playground AI offers a free version for up to 1,000 images a day and a pro plan for $15 per month with additional benefits. If you guys want to know more about the similarities and differences between these two, check out our article, which will be linked down below. There's just so much more information on there, so please be sure to check that out. So overall, I found that Diffusion R suggested more advanced prompts based on the initial input and provided eight different versions of the image. But on the other hand, Playground AI was found to have a clearer and more user-friendly platform, as we just saw. However, I found value in both platforms, considering Playground AI for its simplicity and Diffusion R for its broader range of detailed prompts. And, and the choice between the two depends on the specific needs and preferences of the user. So yeah, that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope you found this comparison interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you want to. And as always, I'm looking forward to your thoughts and questions in the comment section right below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.